now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Temperature is 72 degrees. We have an east wind blowing, northeast wind, and we have a kind of a mix of fair weather clouds and clear sky. 77 in Wachula, 76 in Arcadia, 77 in uh, Northport, Boca Grande at 79, 77 in uh, Venice and 72 degrees in Bradenton. A little bit of showery activity back to the west in the open plains and then Closer to home, we have a big ridge of high pressure that extends from the deep south all the way up to the northeast, providing fair weather, but warm weather, especially in the northeast. Few scattered showers have been around in Gulf waters overnight, part of this low pressure area that continues to spin around, lifting north. It will open up and just basically dissolve away. That leaves us with the high pressure ridge that's expansive and sprawling from northeast to deep south. Plus, out in the Atlantic, we have Maria. Those two factors are going to enter into our forecast over the next several days. Here's how. Clock, clear skies across the region right now. That'll be the case for the next couple of days because the winds around that high are going to direct our winds out of the north. And they'll be uh, kind of sustained out of the north due to the location of Maria as well. So the combination of those two factors funneling in this north wind ensure us that dry air from the north is pushed down through the Florida Peninsula, really just cutting off the rain machine across the state, leading us to some dry weather for the next several days. So not as many storms, warm afternoons, and mostly sunny skies. You can see the dry air in terms of the uh, water vapor imagery here. This dry air is tan in color. Well, it's colorized tan by the satellites to make it easy to see. And you can note that it's all across the state of Florida. The RPM computer model forecast put into motion shows at most, at most, just a few scattered storms in inland areas. And that's it for the next several days. Dry conditions will remain. So we've got two storms that we continue to watch, Lee and Maria. You remember Lee? Lee kind of lasted about a day, fizzled out, tried to come back, didn't do it. Now it is back, and Lee is going to bother no one. It's going to be a fish storm. Maria, on the other hand, that will continue to lift north, and as it does so, bring some gusty winds as well as some heavy surf to parts of the outer banks, but then eventually curve back out into the open waters before making a landfall in the United States. And then by Thursday, we'll watch Lee start to move back out into open waters as well. So two fish storms, but one a little closer, giving some squally weather to parts of uh, the outer banks. But they're used to that sort of thing, so it won't be any worse than a, uh, a nor'easter that comes up frequently for them. Look for a 10-knot wind today, decreasing in the uh, afternoon to about 5 knots out of the west. It'll be a nice boating day. You'll look for a light chop with two foot seas. And the official Suncoast forecast will call for uh, daytime highs near 90 with about a 20% chance of showers starting on Thursday. Back to you.